Good morning, it's Dr. Rebecca Clements, the 19th of October, and I have with me number one and number nine. And when they hold hands and they join, become a two-digit number by joining their arms, we have one in the tens and nine in the ones, so they become 19, which is a two-syllable word for a two-digit number. I wish they all matched up that way, but they don't. We're going to talk about that in one of our other lessons. Okay, so... One and nine and me, we are actually in the house where I live because we're going to be traveling to take art out to Ames, Iowa. And so we're going to put these up and shoot them today so that they're all ready to go up one per day other than the live, which we will do at 11 o'clock every day on Instagram, wherever we're located. All right, but because we're at home, we can take the masks off. So I'm going to take mine off and the numbers you can also take off now. Uh, Six reminded me on Friday that I forgot to do something with six and with four. So we're going to bring them back out and we're going to do some stuff with them today. Also, here we go. Six will join us and four will join us. And we're going to do some things with them. Now we started doing various things with the pumpkins. Uh, they're a really good size for doing a lot of arrays with arithmetic. And of course, it's October. So it's the month of Halloween where everybody has all kinds of little small candies around. Not that I advocate candies, but these are really good sizes for doing, looking at things on the table and they show up very well on the, on the black tablecloth. So one and nine, uh, we are past the middle of October because there are 31 days in October. So the 16th, which was Friday, put us at the middle of uh, October and now we're past the middle. So let's count out 19, one, two, and there I'm helping out the numbers because there's two of them and they're having to watch over that I do it right. Okay, one and nine, you're watching very carefully. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Let's get some more. 11, 12, let's see, eight, Let's get them all out here, organize them nicely. So now we have how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. How many more do we need? Oh, two more, okay? 18, 19. So there are 19. Is that right, guys? Is that how we would see you? 19 pumpkins? All right, now, can we put them into an array where... We don't have any leftovers because look here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we have two for each of those sevens plus how many up there? Uh-oh, one, two, three, four, five leftovers or extras. So that is not a uh, an array where there are without leftovers, we have five. And who would get the leftovers if we had seven friends? We would We'd get the extra five, all right? So if we have seven, Friends, each would get two, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, and each would get two if there were seven friends and we would get the five extras. So can we move them around so that we have no extras? Well, let's look and see. Let's suppose we did four in each row. So we had four friends. How many would each friend get? We had four friends, and then we would have, oops, three more. If we had four friends, we would say four here, and four is going to come out and help us on that and say, yes, there would be four here and four here, four here. So if we had four friends, each would get four, and then we'd have how many for us? Three for us. Or if we're two of the friends, if we are counted as two of the friends, we would get these eight 9, 10, 11, we would have 11 for us. All right, so can we find an array of 19 that is anything other than one really, really long row? Okay, let's take the tablecloth and move it over a little. Can we make any array other than one big, long row of 19? I'm gonna curve them a little bit because it's too long for the table. Okay, there are 19 pumpkins. Is that the only array we can do that does not have any leftovers? Yes, ma'am, number city, that is all you can do. So what do we know that means? 19 is what kind of a number? 
19 is prime number. No other array can be made where you have division into an array where there are no leftovers and they're actual full units. Okay, so that's what prime means. So that's an, a very unusual, they're always odd except for which number? Two. Two is the only prime even number, okay? Just think about that. People don't usually get that information until they're much older, but if you look at arrays and play with them like this, you're gonna figure it out very young. You don't have to be older to figure out these patterns in math. Okay, so there are 19 there. And one of the things that we forgot on Friday when it was the 16th was we forgot to compare 16 and four. So let's take, let's go back to 16. Now, 16 is how much less than 19? It is three less. So we're gonna take away three pumpkins, move them away, subtract them out, put them back in the bag, and we're back to 16 to do something that I meant to do on Friday, but we forgot to do. And we know that 16 now, if I have four friends, each person is gonna get how many? Four, all right, let's put the last four over there. So now we have 16 pumpkins in an array of four by four. This is a very special array. So here we have four and here we have 16. There are 16 different pumpkins and it is in an array of four by four, by four, by four. It's a four square, ha ha, how about that? It's four square, and that means that 16, 16 is the square of four, or four is the square root of 16, because here are the 16, and the root is the side, and we form it into a square. That's where the word comes from. Four is the square root, it is the root because it's the side, how many on the side of the 16 pumpkins. That's very important to get the identity of what a square means and what a square root means. There you go. This is the 19th of October. This is the numbers lady. See you tomorrow for the 20th of October. Bye-bye.